guys, I was really excited to film this video because the idea came to me because I was thinking about some random experiences at school. A lot of you guys said that you wanted to hear some of my experiences at school and when I was growing up and you wanted me to film stuff about that. So this is where the idea came from because I went to a predominantly white school. Am I, I, am I allowed to say white? Is that politically correct? I went to a predominantly Caucasian school and you just get asked some of these questions and this video is based on those really irritating questions that Indian people get asked and I am going to answer them at the same time so that it will clear it up for so many people but I just thought this might be entertaining because it's just from my experiences. Please do subscribe if you want to see more videos like this I would absolutely love lots and lots and lots of people to join this video please do share, thumbs up, like, comment below and tell me what you think of this kind of video and if you want to then carry on watching. The first question question Indian people always get asked is are you going to have an arranged marriage if you're talking about me personally then hell to the no definitely not having an arranged marriage I think people just have this misconception that from a long time ago Indian families are very strict and they are going to do arranged marriages I did make a whole video about arranged marriages quite a while back but no I'm not going to have an arranged marriage and it's one of those things that people still ask about quite a lot the next question I got asked a lot growing up was do you eat curry every single day we do not have curry every single day we do not have chapatis and curry every day we do have it quite Quite a lot so I would be inclined to say at home we have Indian food maybe every other day but I wouldn't say it's always curry and chapati it's something generally type different so I would say in terms of curries I probably have it a couple of times a week we generally like eating English food every other day so yeah generally every other day we'll have English food but no we do not eat Indian food every single day because we live in England and we all like English food we like fish and chips we like pizza we like pasta we like everything that everybody else likes and obviously growing up at school I had English lunches I had English breakfast we'll order Chinese we'll go to a Thai restaurant, we'll eat out, mum will make Chinese at home, I'll make pasta. No, we do not eat curry every single day at home. The other question I get asked a lot is, you're not allowed to eat pork, are you? It's against your religion. I am not Muslim, so I'm allowed to eat pork, I'm allowed to eat bacon and sausages, and no, eating pork is not against my religion. I think a lot of people assume that when you're brown, you're just Muslim. I have been called a Paki various times during my life and I think people are just very ignorant, they don't know the difference between an Indian or a Pakistani. Sometimes it's very hard to tell just by looking at somebody but usually when you have a conversation with them you know. I would say the majority of the Hindu Indians are not allowed to, forbidden to eat beef my family is very, very, very modern and my family is very open and my family is like, make the choices that you want to make as long as you're not harming people. Hindus are not supposed to eat beef, but it's actually Muslims that are not supposed to eat pork. So when people say you're not allowed to eat pork, it's against your religion, I'm not Muslim. I'm allowed to eat pork. The next question I got asked a lot at school was, do you wear saris when you get home? Definitely not. As soon as I get home, I have a shower and I put my pyjamas on. Like, literally, my pyjamas go on as soon as I get home. Have a shower, put my pyjamas on. If I'm going anywhere, it's jeans, t-shirt, or casual clothes if we've got guests around. I do not wear saris at home. Neither do my pair, like, needed my parents I should hope my dad doesn't wear saris at home my mum doesn't wear saris at home the only time we wear saris is if we're going out I think what they're thinking about is like the traditional older Indian parents so my gran would wear a very 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 basic light blue or white sari on a daily basis and I think when people see my gran at home they just assume that maybe we all wear Indian clothes at home I would really not be happy if I had to wear a sari every day when I got home because the amount of time it would take to put on and I'm not very good at walking around with saris I find them not the most comfortable things but I would much rather put my pajamas on when I get home or a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and be really really comfortable the next question I get asked a lot or got asked a lot is do you speak Indian at home first of all Indian is not a language no I do not speak Gujarati at home I do not speak Hindi at home I speak English at home my parents will quite often speak to me in Gujarati and I will answer in English 
Occasionally I will throw a Gujarati word in conversation if I'm speaking to a bar or a granny, but otherwise I predominantly speak English at home and it's just, I totally understand it, I totally understand Gujarati because my parents speak it fluently, have always responded in English and they've always generally been okay with that and never said anything. I did go to Gujarati classes when I was really, really young, so I understand what they're saying, but I do not speak Indian at home. Do all of your family own corner shops and are the rest of them all doctors? My dad has a shop. It's not on the corner but my dad and mum do have a shop. I have a lot of family that are doctors but no we're not all doctors and we're not all corner shop owners. We do lots of different things so some people are accountants, some people are dentists, some people are pharmacists, some people are nutritionists, some people are events managers, some people are chefs, some people are volunteers, some people are working in shops, some people do have corner shops, some people own their own shops. My family literally does all kinds of different stuff. Some people do feng shui. 50% of us do not own corner shops and the other 50% of us are not doctors because that would mean I'm not in any of these categories. So my parents do own a shop on the high street but sadly enough it is going very, very soon. But I will talk about that in another video because at the age of 65 my parents have to like look for jobs. But that's part of all another video. Why do you hide your boyfriends from your parents? So this is a question I got asked loads while I was growing up at school. When you are Indian you don't really discuss boys until you go to university. You are not supposed to mingle or date or see boys until you go to university because up until then they are seen as a distraction to your education to get you into university. When you get to university your parents secretly hope that you'll meet somebody at university to bring home so that when you finish your degree you can get married to them. Up until going to university they do not want any kind of distraction to education so they will frown upon any boyfriend that you have and generally not approve of boys that are 16, 17 chasing their daughters. So it is a lot easier when you're an Indian girl to just hide these things from your parents as I did until they found out and then all cards were laid on the table and then mum and dad knew about everything. So generally I'd sneak around for a few months and then mum and dad would kind of pick up on it and then mum and dad actually accepted it which was great. The last thing I have is why do all Indians houses smell the same? Because we all use the same vagar. I don't personally think my house smells like Indian food because we don't eat Indian food every day but most Indians will use the same spices for their cooking which is why we all like spicy food, we all like chilli food, majority of us anyway and we all make food in like massive vats like massive massive saucepans of food and we cook for like an army of people even though there are only four people. That is why some Indian houses may smell vaguely similar or vaguely smell like curry powder or I don't know what. No one's ever said that to me recently but people have asked me do all Indian houses smell because they remember somebody else's house that they went to that stunk of curry powder. I'm not necessarily thinking they think it's a bad thing but then obviously it gets on your clothes and then you smell and then you're just like the curry powder smelling person at school. So those are my questions and my answers to questions that Indian people don't like getting asked and get asked all the time. I hope it clears some stuff up, I hope it entertained you and please do subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will see you guys in the next video.